Hi folks, this is Roger from Off-Grid Van Life. And um, if you've been following this, these are 420 amp hour cells that we bought from a supplier in China. Uh, they took nearly three months to arrive. And finally they got here, there was a bit of bulging. We compressed them here uh, and mounted them into this uh, plywood case with a thread bar with plastic sleeving on it so we don't damage them. So what we've done uh, in previous episodes if you've been watching we uh, first put this into series and used a normal 14.6 volt uh, I think a, about a 20 amp charger on here to uh, just get them up to a reasonable state of charge really quickly after that when the first cell reached 3.65 volts we the BMS cut the charge off and uh, we then disassembled and uh, into parallel and then we put some parallel charges onto well 3.65 volt charges onto here uh, we started with one charger um, it was very clear that it was going to take a long long time to put a second and then a third and even and a fourth one and we're charging at one stage at 30 amps which take we, which took most of the day actually um, a bit concerning because for the cells that we uh, like, know and trust from a very reputable supplier in China. We, we bought a few hundred of them already. Um, those cells, uh, we will charge them in series with a 14.6 volt charger and that will take uh, 12, 10 to 12 hours to bring them to the point where the first cell cuts off. But the other three are very close behind. Uh, when the first one cuts, the other three are are pretty full as well because when we disassemble those and put them in parallel and charge them up uh, sometimes even as, as low as 20 minutes to reach a full state of charge for everything um, at the most an hour um, and we'll sometimes let it just go for two hours just to make sure that everything is fully fully top balanced um, with these as I said they they've been in parallel for a long time which tells us that the difference between the highest voltage or the highest state of charge and the lowest state of charge, the lowest voltage, is quite significant. Uh, so let's just delve into that. Let's dive into that a little bit. You, you don't expect such a degree of difference between the cells. Uh, if the cells are good, if the manufacturing process is good, the cells are going to be quite close to each other. And uh, differences come in because of the uh, differences in raw materials, sometimes different batches. Uh, the lithium is slightly different that they've mined or the phosphate or whatever. Uh, the manufacturing process can be slightly different. So obviously inside here are electrodes and plates and things like that. And they, those get cut with machines. And if they've cut and it's slightly jagged on the edge, those can uh, cause uh, some very minor forms of shorting and self-discharge. So basically in that process of shipping from China to here, which took nearly three months, uh, this cell maintained most of its charge. This cell lost which, you know, most of its charge and uh, they arrived in a very different state of charge. So we have now connected all four of these individually to these testers, uh, two different types of testers, but they both do the same job. The way that these work is that they actually generate heat. So they're actually burning off the uh, stored electricity in the cell uh, by using heat and they then cool it down as, as you can see from the fan so they don't burn things out and they basically just count how you know how many amps they've drawn off the battery and they uh, present a number of figures here for us so we can see uh, it's, it's in milliamp hours it's 2837 2834 uh, 2.89 amp hours and 2.83 amp hours so very similar these are D discharging or, or these are burning off 15 amps uh, at the at and these are, are burning off 15.1 amps so very very similar uh, if you're wanting to do capacity tests highly recommend these uh, little units they are, are surprisingly accurate uh, we've done a number of tests compared them with each other we, we've got quite a few of them uh, they they match e each other very closely and we, we're really pleased with them um, you can <clears throat> already see the massive differences in voltage that are coming through uh, and so we'll see as as they burn off energy what how it turns out so 
we, we're expecting this to run into late in, in the evening tomorrow unless the cells are really lousy in which case the test is going to end a lot earlier. Uh, you, we might find that the test uh, ends very early for this cell which I, we know is the weaker cell because of uh, everything that we've measured so far and this cell might carry on uh, much later. So the the degree of confidence in the cell, the jury is still out. We'll see when the test completes tomorrow uh, whether it's actually worth considering that or these at all. They, they weren't cheap, they were actually quite pricey compared to cells that we normally buy. Uh, so the seller, because he's claiming there are 420 amp hours, he's charging an absolute premium for them. Uh, so we're testing this and uh, if they're not according to the stated capacity, you know, at least within 10% of that. That is not really, 10% is not acceptable, but um, we'll see what leeway we give them. So stay tuned and we'll see what these uh, tests show tomorrow. We've had this uh, capacity test running on these amazing 420 amp hour cells and uh, the results are in. Um, we said uh, yesterday we started the test, uh, what, 16 hours ago, 16, 17 hours ago. And we always said that uh, if they were 420 amp hours, uh, the test would run late into this afternoon or this uh, tonight even. And it's just past midday and uh, the test is complete. So that tells you we did not reach anywhere close to the 420 amp hours. So what did we reach? 240 amp hours. So the uh, supplier of these cells has uh, employed a bit of journalistic license and swapped the two and the four around, I think. Uh, either that or he or she is just latently dishonest. So essentially we have paid good money, uh, nearly $800, to have uh, four by 420 amp hour cells and we have been sold at that same price, at a premium price, uh, 240 amp hour cells. So <clears throat> if we look at the individual uh, capacities of these cells, we start at 242 amp hours of this cell that when we charge them up reached its uh, full state of charge much earlier than the other three. Uh, this one is the highest at 244. In fact, the test was still running. It was running at about 2.6 volts, but uh, we know anybody who, who knows the life pair for uh, chemistry will know the voltage curve that at that uh, those kind of voltages below the knee you have very very little state of charge left in the battery so we could have eked it out maybe to 245 246 but that would have been the most uh, 242 242 and uh, 243 so uh, ranging from 244 245 to 242. Uh, fairly similar to be honest, um, not bad consistency even though when they arrived they were massively different states of charge. Uh, but uh, definitely, uh, I mean we can't say we were conned because we, we didn't think that the cells of this size with this chemistry could reach 420 amp hours. We were kind of hoping maybe they had a magic formula, maybe they had something new that nobody else had managed to achieve, uh, you know, advancements and research and all that sort of stuff. But no, uh, this was basically pure blatant dishonesty. Um, and we will be trying to claw some or all of the money back from these suppliers. Uh, what I will do is the next step, just out of interest to see uh, we'll disconnect the four charges, so each charger is connected to an individual cell at the moment. Uh, disconnect the charges, put on the bus bars, uh, reconnect it as a 12 volt battery, put on the uh, BMS and uh, look to see uh, how these will handle a, uh, a normal battery charge. So if, you know, the idea being to, to charge them to 14.6 or 14.4, 14.6 volts. Uh, and see how closely matched these uh, voltages are, especially between the knees. Below and above the knee you expect some difference, but even above the knee you don't expect more than about uh, 0 0.1. Let's be a little bit lenient to these guys, 0 0.15 be okay, but 0 0.2 would definitely not be okay in terms of differences between the top cells. 
um, good cells, match cells will be uh, generally 0 0.15 or less. And I, I know some people say 0 0.1, but our experience has been uh, you'd have to be crazy careful to match cells to get that kind of delta. Uh, normally, as if they have uh, full, full state of charge, uh, 0 0.15 delta between the highest and the lowest is quite normal. And, and this is going across the manufacturer of supplies that we've checked. Right, so there we have it, 240, not 420. And uh, disappointing, but not unexpected, unfortunately. Thank you.